In this tutorial, we will learn about shape keys in Blender, and how to use them to create a melting effect for an object. Let's look at it once more. We can use this technique for any object, and it's really interesting. We will start with our default cube, and move it up little bit above the ground plane. Before we do anything else, we need to first add enough subdivisions for this object, so let us go to the edit mode. Then right-click here, and select subdivide. In the operator box, we can change the subdivision level to 6. Now, back to the object mode, we have to go to the object data properties tab. Then click on this plus button, under the shape keys, and we will get a new entry, called basis. This is for the original shape or the rest position of our object, and we will create modifications to this initial shape. So we have to add one more entry in this shape key list. This relative option has to be selected, and this relative to field should have basis. So the modifications under key 1 will be relative to basis, which is the base shape of this object. Now again go to the edit mode. We have to ensure that the second shape key is selected here. If we select basis, the original shape of the object will get modified, which is not the desired action. So select key 1 from this list. Then pick up the move tool. We will use a nice feature, which is known as proportional editing. So enable this, and we have to first select all the vertices that are on the top face. So press 7 on the number pad for the top view, then deselect everything, and select the vertices like this. Now use this handle of the move tool to reduce its height to almost half. Then pick up individual vertices as you like, and move them down to get the molten shape of the object. If you are not familiar with proportional editing, you can check our tutorial on this, the link is given below. You may have to also resize some of the vertices selected together, in order to get a bulged out shape of the object. Once this editing is complete, our object will look like this. You don't need to be perfect in one go, later we can come back here for further rectifications, if needed. Now back to the object mode, you may discover that all the shape changes have disappeared. That is because for this shape key, the influence factor is zero. If we change it to one, we will see that the shape change has taken place. So basically, we have to animate this factor, in order to get the melting effect for this object. For frame number 1, we will change this factor to 0, and we need to insert a keyframe for this value. Then let's say we go to frame number 100. Here we will change this to 1, and we need to keyframe this as well. Now if we run this from the beginning, it will display the melting effect, exactly as we wanted. But the surface is not smooth, which is looking bad, so we need to add some smooth factor. Let us go to the modifiers tab, and we will first add a smooth modifier. Now change this factor value to 1, and we can change the repeat value to say 5. Then we will also add a subdivision surface modifier. Let us change both of these levels to 3. Now, it will display a very smooth profile, which looks good for a melting object. So this was the basic stuff about melting an object, but you can add some more improvements to this. For example, it will look even better if we add some color change as well while the object is melting. So let us go to the first frame, and we will turn on the rendered view mode. In the materials tab, we can see the default material created by Blender. Let us change the base color, maybe to orange. And we need to keyframe this color. Then, for frame number 100, we will use a lighter shade of this color, by reducing its saturation. And don't forget to keyframe it as well. Now if we run it again, we will see a color change, as the object starts melting. The color change or a material change makes it more realistic. If you want to change the shape, you can always go back to the edit mode. And we have to ensure that the correct shape key is selected here. Now you can edit the shape as you wish, so it is highly flexible and you can add multiple shapes as well. And one more thing we can do, for frame number 1, let us go to the modifiers tab. We will change this smooth factor to zero, which will remove the roundness from its initial shape, and we need to keyframe this. Then go to the end of the shape change. We can change it back to one, with a keyframe. The smoothness will now follow the shape change, which is more natural. So this is how you can melt anything using shape keys. Here you can also add a spoon under the cube, for a support. That will give us a nice animation like this. If you like this video, you can join our channel for additional perks that we share always with our members. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.